Folks, welcome back. We had a good day of mowing today. We just wrapped up. Again, we're at the new property. We did all sorts of different areas on the property with the flail mower. First time use out here. Showed you something different today. We hooked it up to the 3025E instead of the 1025R. We're running a 62 inch Y blade, funny top, manual offset flail mower. So the popular one that we sell that you guys have seen before. Same mower we've used on the 1025. This is the third season now uh, with the original blades that are on this flail mower. And you can see they're starting to show some wear on there as well, but that's okay. We've ran over all sorts of different things, uh, roots, sticks, rocks, dirt, you name it, some grass too. Uh, we've, we've knocked it all down with this flail mower here. So let's walk you through what we did today. Okay, so first thing we're knocking out is gonna be going right down this lane in between pastures, getting as close to the fence as possible. And so I have been accustomed to going around a tree or an obstacle here and there, but trying to stay in a straight line and get as close to a row of fence posts and fencing down this entire stretch, which I don't know, I mean, a thousand feet or more probably, it's, uh, it's a little more challenging than you would think. You're constantly looking back over your shoulder, trying to keep a straight line. And when you steer with those front wheels, it affects uh, the back flail mower, whatever's hanging off there, and in kind of the opposite manner that you would think. And so we start off going down one, one way, and then when we get done with our projects down towards the front of the property, we're gonna knock out the other side of the lane coming back. So the next thing we're gonna tackle here is all along the road frontage and you gotta bear in mind that this is the first time that I've mowed this property. And so I have walked all of it, I've driven around it, I've tried to get um, uh, used to what it looks like, what the terrain's like, if it's really bumpy, if there's potholes here and there, dangers to be aware of. And I'm still gonna go very slow and conservative. You always should, but especially the first time mowing, you wanna do so. And you'll see in this first section of road frontage in the beginning, I am not, quite over as far as the following section later on. You know, really kind of feeling my way out to see just how that incline is as it goes down towards the ditch, um, just how the stability of the tractor is and the, and the flail mower and everything. And you'll see we have it offset as far as it can possibly go. I don't have a tape measure out here right now. Uh, on the 1025, I think it was about 20, 22 inches of, of offset that you could have outside the rear tires. Maybe not quite so much on the 3025E, but still a, a significant amount of of offset you can have on that and overhang, so it reaches out there pretty good. All right, so we continued mowing along the rest of the road frontage, and the second portion of it, I was able to get pretty much all the way off the road, uh, or pretty darn close to it, and really get a nice swath mowed out there. And unfortunately, there's all, a lot of mailboxes that are all along my side of the road, so I kind of had to bob and weave around those. I can certainly see some uh, tree branches I want to cut back to when, when I get time, but overall, that went really smooth. Now it's on to the ponds. Few things I want to tell you about really quick. We do have a sale going on, so you can save 10% off of every attachment that we sell on our website. 
head on over there to get more information, limited time only. Now we also have a brand new rewards program and to kick that party off, we are given 5% rewards towards a future purchase when you make an order. So if you order a thousand dollar attachment right now, you get 50 bucks to use towards a future order as well. Now we also have a merchandise store available. A lot of you guys have been asking if you can buy a hat or a shirt or something with our logo on it. Very flatter. We don't want to make any money off of you. So if we do make any profits, those are going to be donated to a charity. But if you want some GWT swag, there's going to be a link down below as well as on our website on where to buy. Okay, so I don't know if my hesitation and nervousness comes through on camera at all, but going around these ponds was one of the more, um, you know, knots in my stomach things that I've done on a tractor. You know, especially the ponds for the first time, I had walked around them several times and, and found those kind of hidden obstacles and there were certain areas of the ground seemed it's soft and, you know, I kept thinking, is, a, is part of the bank gonna wanna collapse and slide right into the pond and take me with it? So I had all these bad thoughts going through my head and I was really hesitant to get very close to uh, the pond at all. And then the first pond we do here is a little uh, shallower, it's, it's flatter, and it probably looks quite flat, I would imagine, on camera, but um, you know tractors, and I've talked about it before, they're, they're kind of a high center of gravity, they're fairly narrow, uh, they have that tippy feeling. So. I kind of am aware of all that and trying to go very slow and cautious and, and take my time. And a lot of you guys have probably mowed around ponds for your whole life and maybe you don't think it's a big deal or maybe you're cautious still to this day. Uh, the second pond was the more challenging one, right? There's certain areas that are uh, definitely quite a bit steeper banks and some spots I decided to kind of back down and you know straight towards the pond and then mow back up the hill away from it. I think I'll probably be able to get a little bit more confident as time goes on, uh, figure out my ideal setup there. It does help to have that mower, the flail mower rolling right on the ground. You know, that rear roller is, is making contact with the ground, so it's not like you have a three-point attachment like on a brush hog that's raised up in the air and potentially raising your center of gravity, having a um, maybe a little bit of a swing and motion to it as well. So that helps with stability. You know, I'm keeping that loader bucket very low to the ground as well. We got through it, didn't get completely right up next to the pond edge, but pretty darn close. You know, and really a situation like this is why we do partner with a company like Bora Wheel Spacers. You know, if I had them on that 3025E, I think it would make a big difference. We have wheel spacers on the 1025, and I know it makes a difference there too. And a lot of you guys have installed wheel spacers, but these are something that most every tractor owner can use in one way or another. And Bora is gonna be a made in America solution. They have a lifetime warranty. They range in width from one to six inches, so there's a variety of solutions to meet your needs. You gotta give them a shot.
And so the last area that we're tackling today, and there's certainly a lot more mowing to go on, but I want to get in the garden. And so there's a, a decent spot that's full sun, uh, kind of out of the way, back by the barn. We have a water source there so we can hook up some sprinklers and, and keep that irrigated to an extent as well. And so this is the area we chose going up and down the hill. You don't really want to mow sideways on a hill, at least I don't, that's an uncomfortable feeling and just you're asking for trouble if you're doing so. But about 110 foot long by about 60 foot wide. We're gonna use the tiller to work that ground up and then come back through with the better hiller that we uh, put together recently and give that a shot. Put in some watermelons, some pumpkins, some sunflowers and some corn as well. Guys, that gives you a really good look at all sorts of different applications for the flail mower. Again, you can get those with hammer blades or wide blades. We've shown both. We've done all sorts of videos, blade comparisons if you want to. The Funny Top series is going to be that manual offset. So you don't have to offset it. You can run it squared up right behind your tractor if you want to, but it gives you that option to push it away and off to the side if you want to reach out underneath you know, some trees or some shrubs or along a fence line and not have your tractor too close. All sorts of options and flexibility that you can get. Now they do make larger flail mowers as well. You know, for your larger compact tractors, your utility tractors, they're gonna have hydraulic offsets, hydraulic tilt too. So there's a lot of different options you can get depending on the series. Now the purpose of this video is to show you that we use our tractor attachments. We don't just sell them to you. So we show you how they work. Again, this is year number three with that wide blade funny top mower that we have on a couple different machines. It'll work on the subcompacts. It works on the small compacts too. Not just John Deere to work with Kubota and anybody else that has a category one three point hitch, 540 RPM rear PTO, all the standard stuff that you guys see. So we'd love to earn your business. We do sell and ship nationwide. Check out goodworkstractors.com. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.